After a long sojourn in the army and in the political trenches, Major General Gregory Mugisha Muntu comes off as a man on whom one can throw any kind of dirt and it just won't stick. He could be described as the poster boy for gentlemanly behavior when confronted with Uganda's often volatile politics. The current conditions in the country for those who read on the surface of things, they can get scared and think that the situation is impossible. However, in Alliance for National Transformation, we have started with a culture of one, not being excited, two, we do deep analysis of situations. Crispus Ayena Odongo, a politician and lawyer, met Muntu in July 1978 at Makere University. Muntu was studying political science and was a year below Odongo, who was the chairman of Livingstone Hall. He attests to Muntu being a stickler for rules. I sent my minister of entertainment to go and get beers from Uganda breweries. He, he got an accident and 56 got destroyed and he only delivered 44. This brought a huge uproar and the, in, the, in the hall. And the person who was leading the uproar was Mugisha Muntu. Odongo says Muntu took up the case with the university's legal advisor. Odongo eventually won the case, but says that that incident informs the kind of man Muntu is today. When I now look in retrospect, I now see the true Mugisha Muntu, somebody who does not give up, somebody who does not accept the status quo that is not responsible for. Colonel Fred Borgere, a former colleague in arms, says Muntu is an honest and principled man. Borgere has known Muntu for almost 40 years, from the time when he was an intelligence officer with the National Resistance Army Rebels, while Muntu was his director of military intelligence. After 1986, when Muntu was director of military intelligence, Borgere was one of his deputies, together with Major Biema Romijumbi and Major Paul Kagame, who is currently the president of Rwanda and is now at the rank of general. Is that principled person who does not have these issues of ours, this is ours, our own, this, you know, those, those type of tendencies which we see in many, many individuals. In other words, you can't say, you cannot go with him and connive to do something uh, against people like here. You would say with those of us who fought. Odongo met Muntu again when he was appointed Corporation Secretary of the National Enterprise Corporation, the commercial arm of the Uganda People's Defense Forces. Muntu, at the time, was the army commander. Whereas some of the people who were also army members were a bit shy about making contributions, at least trying to contradict what the president was saying, Mugisha Muntu would come out boldly to state, actually to state his opinion about certain things. I saw again the man I knew when we were still children. Muntu's calm character seems misplaced in Uganda's current political situation, and the average Ugandan voter, surrounded by political rubber rousers, might not understand him. It is our belief that by God's grace, we are going to shift the dynamics of politics from the current conditions that people see to a state where people will see light. Either because of the fact that we have suffered a serious moral degeneration and therefore we don't want a principled person. Because some people, even in, in, the, in the army, they used to, 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 to call him a, a morocco, you know. Even others would call him a bishop. His soft-spokenness, in my view, is not a hindrance at all. He's not a liability. But of course I don't agree with him politically because I fault him for failure of judgment because he created the system that is now, uh, that he has now come to fight too late. Every once in a while, a serving soldier will come out to say officers in the UPDF cannot salute any other commander-in-chief apart from the current one. The question is, can Muntu manage the army? We are not ready to give out to, 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 to people, to, uh, I mean, uh, ideologically, ideologically banker people. We are not to let them move. We are planning a handover for you. 
<laughs> you think we are planning a handover? No, we are not planning a handover. We are planning, actually, we are consolidating. He has the capacity to control it. Because one, he knows what makes an army. Two, he's good at sending his message, especially when he's sending it to people who are qualitative, who can understand his message. As a former army commander, General Muntu commands a lot of respect from the men in uniform. And what most people want out of the politics of today is peace and prosperity. It is believed that Muntu's stance on corruption, which is a cancer eating our society, may contribute to the development of the country. Gillian Nantume, NTV.